what's going on everybody welcome back to yet another video so in today's video i'm going to be discussing how to find the perfect strike price in options trading i often get asked by people how do i know which strike price to choose when day trading or swing trading and i'm going to answer just that very question in this video but if you guys could real quick make sure to click that like as well as clicking that subscribe and that bell icon it would mean the absolute world to me but without further ado let's hop into the videos <laughs> So this is going to be a pretty simple video anyways um basically when it comes down to you know choosing your strike price you know whether it be day trading or swing trading you always want to start off by doing your support and resistance so usually the way i do my support and resistance i'll start on the monthly time frame and i'll start finding you know fibonacci levels if it's breaking above all-time highs so we can take pivot high pivot low to find a fibonacci if needed or just start on the monthly time frame and start plotting support and resistance if you guys don't know how to find your support and resistance levels i will be leaving a link down in the description it's a free mentorship session that i did it's around an hour long showing you how to find support and resistance so make sure you guys definitely do watch that but i'll start on the monthly time frame look for support and resistance bring it down to the weekly time frame do the same exact thing look for trend lines you know so on and so forth so break it down to the weekly break it down to the daily all right boom so now when i'm swing trading i don't break it down any lower than a daily time frame now some other things that i'll also look for is going to be person's pivot so if we go on over to this screen right here we can see the person's pivots is calculating quarterly resistance right here monthly resistance right here and then weekly resistance all the way up here so i also want to know about those areas so now at this point what does texas roadhouse have room to we also know that 100 is going to be a psychological number so if you were looking to you know swing trade texas roadhouse with an expiration of march 18th which is going to be the third friday of this month okay what does texas roadhouse have room to 96 dollars and 11 cents therefore the next strike price that is going to be able to get in the money is going to be 95 dollars. so what does texas roadhouse have room to 96 11 if it breaks above that 97 19 and then 99 well, in the meantime, in the short term, coming up in three weeks, it could easily go to $95. So since it could easily go to $95, that is going to be the strike price you are going to choose. Because remember, ideally we want to get these things in the money. If we were to go over, if we were to go over to um, something that we just swung on XLE, if we go to XLE on the daily time frame. Well, if we take our pivot high to pivot low, we entered this day once it held above 70.5, what does XLE have room to? 71.9. Therefore, the strike price is going to be 72. What ended up happening, it broke above 72 and went to 73.5. So in reality, XLE had room to 72. Therefore, we were going to choose that $72 call to swing trade so it all comes down to what does the stock have room to what does the stock not have room to even if we go on over to something like gld that we recently swung well if we go to the weekly time frame and we bought these contracts for all the way out in june so we gave it a lot of time if we take a basic fibonacci pivot high pivot low and we put on these other retracements okay the first price target is going to be 175 and then if it breaks above 175 it has room to 180 at this time we had four months worth of time for gld to continue to the upside therefore we ended up going with the 180 dollar calls because it had room to get to 180 if you wanted to play something a little closer to the money you could have went with the 175 dollar calls so again what does the stock have room to what does it not have room to if xle you know if i were to swing gld and i wanted to swing something you know closer term march 18th why would i buy a 200 dollar call when 200 dollars is all the way up here and it only had around a month until expiration if you did that march 18th expiration so if it's too far away from the money it doesn't make sense to buy it because eventually it's going to go worthless and nobody's going to want it as a result you're going to be losing money so you always need to figure out what does the stock have room to and what does the stock not have room to like another example i mean i could go on for days about you know some trades that i've taken in the past but chevron absolute beast if it breaks above 149.1 it had a gap to 153.85 therefore you could go with the 150 151 or even the 152 calls because it has room to them and then one last example on xop i told everybody to watch the 115 calls on xop this week 
XOP has gone absolutely crazy and they're almost $10 in the money. Anyways, let's switch it on over to uh, day trading. So if we were to go on over to, let's say Microsoft, if we pull up a five minute chart of Microsoft today, I told everybody in the Discord server to look for a break above 297.59. If it broke above 297.59, there was a couple of strike prices that you could have chosen. You could go with the $300 calls or you could choose the 297.5. Why? Because $300 is right above 299.23 and then 297.5 is basically going to be in the money at this point. Catch a nice little pump to the upside, market pulled back. But once it started to break and actually hold above this level, you can see it went right to 300. Again, Microsoft had room to 300. Therefore, you can choose a $300 call. Let's go on over to something like Facebook. Okay, well, if Facebook broke below 202, it would have had room to 200 because 200 is that psychological support level so as a result if facebook breaks below 202 you would probably want to choose the 200 dollars put because that's what it has room to you don't want to be buying the 195 put because that's too far out of the money and in reality facebook probably does not have room to get there so after you break everything down and i forgot to say when i'm day trading i'll start on the monthly support and resistance weekly support and resistance daily support and resistance then i'll break it down to a four hour and one hour to find support and resistance and i'll usually time my entry below pre-market lows or above pre-market highs as well as adding in those person's pivots to also help find some possible support and resistance points but then really from there it all comes down to what does the stock price have room to and what does it not and that's going to be you know how you choose your strike price if there's a lot of room in the stock then you can be a little more flexible when it comes to the strike price like say um apple for example if apple went in one dollar increments well if apple broke above 165 and it had room to 169 you could be a little flexible you could buy the 166 the 167 the 168 the 169 like i said you can be a little flexible in those scenarios however if apple were to break above 165 and it only had room to 165.5 you're pretty limited with what strike prices you can choose therefore you should probably be going with the 165 call but hopefully that did make sense to you guys i did want to make that video for you guys because i do get asked that question quite a bit if you guys have any suggestions on videos i should make in the future make sure to comment them down below as well as clicking that like and that subscribe button it would mean the absolute world to me as always everybody enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video